What's going on 10 Twitter? I hope you're all super well. It is Monday, which means it is football sprints time. I think I've got everything. Well, I guess if I don't, it's too bad. So I'm off to go and do football sprints. One of my favorite drills for sure. And I was just watching the video from the game. Maybe I only watched 10 minutes or so. And there was a sort of option there where I dribbled and I should have passed. But I approached the defender. I didn't really know what to do. I need to put myself in more 1v1 situations. So that's going to be the focus for today's football sprint session. And then when I do the session with Sepper on Friday, I'll also try to incorporate more 1v1s. Because look, sometimes it's really difficult to say these things to you guys because it may come off as an excuse. And I really dislike excuses, but I'm just stating facts to you. I've said it the last couple of videos, I haven't played in a long time, it's just a fact. Now when you're presented with these things, it's about how you deal with it. Are you going to go out and improve that part of your game? So 1v1s today, football sprints, and then we're off to the gym as well. Let's go and do a beautiful day as well. Also, make sure you smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. I know some of you guys are watching, you haven't subbed, sub below and then turn notifications on and you will never miss a video. And you don't wanna miss a video, not a single one. I expect you guys hear every single video. Now, football sprints, let's get to it. All right, it's really windy down here, so I won't talk too much. Let me just take you through what the drill is. Pass the ball from that white cone, you guys will see. Then you get to here on this right hand side, this was the sort of instance I had where I was dribbling, the defender's there, and I wanna have a shot on goal. So I have to bring it back inside or somehow fake to go down there and then take it to the right. So a little interesting situation over on that side. If I come over to this side, I'm faced with somewhat large defender. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So now, we're faced with a defender, come around the pole. I'm immediately in a 1v1 where I have to go either left or right. If I come this way, I shoot and then pick a spot, whether left or right goal. Always aiming for the corners. And look, I like to make the corners somewhat big. You can make them as small as you like, but if you make them too small and you find that you only get one out of the 15 shots or however many you get, it's a little bit pointless. You want to increase your confidence. You want to make sure that you're hitting the target and not just going, oh, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss. So these are about two steps, I'd say about a meter, maybe a meter and a little bit. And look, if you hit it just inside the post that's closest to the middle, the keeper will probably save it, but it's just increasing that confidence, finding that spot which you're hitting. So let's get into it, 863 again. Next week, I'll be stepping it up to 864. So let's get to it. when I tried to beat the defender. My touch away from the defender after I did my skill or whatever was just poor, so that put me in a really bad position to shoot. I think that's what I gotta work on. So that touch out, settle myself, relax. Don't try and hit it as hard as I can. Place the ball. So yeah, we both know, poor set. Needs to improve the next one, so I have a little bit of time to relax. I'm gonna reset myself, focus. Oh, 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 oh,
for the wind um, look basically just want to say that was I don't have many words really poor shooting session I'm not saying this is an easy drill this is football sprints you're putting yourself in a game situation where you got to sprint do the football action at a hundred percent and then strike at a hundred percent it's really easy to just take your touch out in front of you and strike the ball but man that was poor like i don't even know if i got one i think i got one maybe two out of how many shots 17 that's nowhere near good enough it's, it's just not i always try to look at the positives and look it just means i gotta work on my shooting so now i'm just gonna stick around for i don't know how long until i'm happy just doing simple things because that's an intense session and now i just want to do a couple of simple ones like just a touch out of the feet with a skill and then strike the ball just getting myself used to that you're not always going to have the best session in the world you're going to have these poor sessions which it sucks because you want to improve and i know i can do better than that that's the thing i know i'm a better player i know i can strike the ball better than that you guys have seen it i've seen it it just really frustrates me because i want to be the best player i can be i want to improve and I guess like I can improve by learning from that. I don't like to be too hard on myself because then I just go down. I only get hard on myself when we lose a game or something, but with something like this, it's just about learning, poor session, come back next Monday and make it better. Again, it's not an easy drill. It's tough, it's supposed to be tough, and it forces you to make mistakes. It's like in a match, you're not going to hit 15 shots the top corner out of 17. Realistically, you might only hit two out of 17, but I need to be better than that, that man. Completely unopposed. I don't know. I'm gonna hang down here. I don't know how long for. Just like I said, until I'm content with how my shooting is, then I'll probably leave. It could be 15 minutes. It could be half an hour. It could be an hour. Just got in the car and about to head to do my gym session. I just want to say, like, if you guys ever have that sort of session, when I ever have that sort of session, I try to just forget about it because if you dwell on it, 100%, guys, there's things I need to work on, there's things we all need to work on, and I'm going to take away from that session and go, okay, I'll watch the videos that I've filmed. I'll go, okay, I did this wrong, I did this wrong, this is how I'm going to work on it. I, I can self-review myself. That's one of the really important things. So I'll do that, I'll go away and learn from it, but I almost want to forget about the whole session except for the learning aspect. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a poor week. I'm going to be poor at training, I'll be poor at the game. I need to now reset my focus and one of the things I like to do when I have a poor session like that or I have a poor game, some of you guys might deal with it as well, I answered it in a hashtag Ask Tweety, is I might go back and watch my highlights video. My highlights video, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of that season I had. And there's a lot of good clips there and I'll go back and I'll watch that and go, wow, like you can shoot a ball. This is just a one-off session, Sheldon. If you watch your highlights video again, Sheldon, you're going to realize you can shoot a ball. So that's probably what I'll go do after my gym session just to build my confidence back up because I know I can do it. It's just a one-off session so yeah things to learn from 100 but there's no time to dwell on anything bad sessions things happening in your life whatever there's no time to dwell on anything well i was going off to the gym and then i had a couple of things that i had to do i actually had an appointment at the dentist which i forgot about so usually i go straight to the gym after that football sprint session and because i had that i haven't done it and then i had to do the video analysis video for you guys but mainly for me the video analysis is something which look it's pretty boring because you're sitting down 
you're just watching the game and you're picking out all the things that you're doing wrong and that you're doing right and it sucks because sometimes like that game it wasn't the best for me it just on my opinion I don't think I played amazingly well and so to sit through that it sucks but it's great because to provide content for you guys I have to get it done and it forces me to do it so that's the vlog helping me in my football goal so now that I've done that it doesn't really matter when I go to the gym so it's going to be packed right now it's 4 40 in the afternoon and that's when all the moms and the dads and everyone after school goes so I think I'll probably go around 8 p.m 8 30 when there's less people and get it done then as long as I get it done now that's all that matters ideally I should have woken up earlier today got the football sprints done and then done the gym session but it is what it is and yeah i'll probably chill out actually no what i want to do is go and do some wall juggling so i'll catch you guys with that a massive change of events I was just about to cook dinner and eat that and then head off to the gym but I get a message on my phone on Facebook and it was something in a group chat I was like okay what's this and I open it up and someone's saying they can't make training tonight I was like oh I've been added to the Wakehurst group chat and it turns out that we have training tonight not tomorrow night which I obviously didn't know about because I'm not in the group it's about 7 10 now it takes me 20 minutes to get there, so I'm going to arrive at 7.30. Session finishes about nine o'clock, so I get an hour and a half in, which is epic, like I'm so stoked. Look, first off, we need to find the benefits in it, and it means I don't have to go to the gym, which is great. I really dislike the gym, and I know I have to do it. Like, I think some people take that the wrong way and go, oh, you're not willing to make the sacrifice. Like, I'm more than happy to go to the gym. It's just not one of the things that I enjoy doing. It's like, you have to do fitness for football, but nobody enjoys doing the fitness. So I'll still get that done tomorrow. I'm supposed to have a sprinting session in the morning and then I'll do the gym later on at night, but this is cool. Wish I had known earlier, but you know, it is what it is. I was sitting there and I thought for a second, I wonder if anyone would actually see that and go, no, I don't want to train, I'm at home, I can't be bothered. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, I'm up and at him. I, got, I want to get to this session as soon as possible. So it took me about a minute to get ready, grabbed the banana and off I went. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really happy. Today I released my match day video and I made a few mistakes in there. And one of the things I posted in the comments of that video was that everyone makes mistakes. Top players like Ronaldo, Messi, Sanchez. I read a stat the other day on Sanchez when he played in a match quite recently actually that I think he had something like like a 20% kept possession stat where he would only keep the ball 20% of the time and he would have touched it, I don't know, 20, 30. So look, we all make mistakes. We need to learn from them and I think each week I'm getting better and better. So I'll go into this session and I need to implement what I'm trying to improve on. So I had the football sprint session this morning. I wanted to work on 1v1s. I struggled with that. I struggled with the shooting session. I need to forget about that. Like I said, now put my focus to this and think about, okay, I want to improve 1v1s. I need to drop my shoulder. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it. It's visualization, basically. So I'm off to this. I'm so stoked. Like, this is sick. Because it's like a training session that I wasn't expecting to happen. I was so, I was ready for one tomorrow. It's like, cool, training tomorrow. But when something comes up, it's like, oh, I didn't even know that was on. Sweet, let's go. I'm stoked. So off to the session we go. I'll catch you guys after. If you can't tell, I'm really happy. I think this is great for me. As you saw this morning in the session, I was really down. But yeah, for something like this to come up, it's it can only bring good things. I'm jumping into bed now, completely exhausted from today. If you look at it on a whole, I did the football sprints, 
more shooting there. Came back, did the work against the wall. Remember, I only show you a couple of seconds for that. And then on top of that, I finished with a session which went for an hour and a half with Wakehurst. So now I need to switch today's gym session to tomorrow, which is completely fine. I'll get that done. But today's training session with Wakehurst was really good. I think the session was exactly what we needed as a team. We worked a lot on just playing the ball, keeping the ball on the floor, finding passes. So I think that will help us if we continue to play like that on the weekend. There weren't many opportunities for 1v1s, but I think if you really wanna work on something like 1v1s, like shooting, like passing, like defending a one-on-one, -on -one, you need to put yourself in that opportunity. So maybe I need to go out wide, maybe I need to receive the ball and not pass it, just so that I can get myself used to being in that situation. So anyway, team to me, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on the subscribe if you're out to join Journey Asset Bye. Bless